All right, we're gonna run an exercise here, starting you off with electrical. One of the key things that we need to understand is uh, pretty much the flow of electricity. This is a series circuit you're looking at, but uh, we're just gonna do a sample of what you can encounter. Now, we're on an electrical board and many people will say that, hey, um, you know, what can I learn off a board? Because we do have a problem with uh, students that come to our classes where they cannot take what's on the board here and take it over to the truck. So we'll be doing both so you can see, but let's just learn a basic concept right now. Like I teach in all my electrical courses I start, I show them we got a marker light and we got a tail light. Oh, vice versa, sorry. Marker light and we got a tail light right there. And in this case, we have a series circuit being built here or assembled. And uh, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna talk about the characteristics of the circuit, how one thing affects the other. Now things have changed since this was developed because as you know, most newer vehicles all have LED lights, but the concept is still the same. Now, when we talk about electricity, one of the major things we gotta understand is voltage, we gotta understand resistance, and we gotta understand the amperage or the current flow through a circuit. So in this case, we have a meter set up. We're gonna be doing some voltage checks. So in this case, we're gonna get you started first, and in any electrical testing you do in any vehicle will be always to measure what your source is. So we're gonna go ahead and cook up our leads at the top and the bottom of the circuit. We're gonna go ahead and turn the light on so you can see. And in this case, we can see that our source voltage is 13.90 volts, okay? We have 13.9, that's our source. I take it you can all see it right there. So in this case, <clears throat> what we're gonna do now is, we're gonna go ahead and ask you, as you look at this video, we're gonna ask you, hey, you know, you got a series circuit, we got a switch, we got a fuse to protect the circuit, we got a bulb, and we got another bulb, two, two different bulbs, again, one being the marker light, one being the tail light. And what we're gonna ask you is, as I, before I turn on the switch, who is gonna light up? Are they both gonna light up dim? Will one light up, the other one light up? What's gonna happen? The common answer we get is, by the way, is they all turn on, okay? So in this case, let's hit the switch. Ta-da! Now in this case, there's no trickery here, so I don't want you to think that something's going on. Yes, the marker light is on, and in this case, we'll bypass the marker light, go around it, and you can see that the tail light, there's no tricky stuff going on here. So the tail light does work. But when in series with the marker light, we see that the marker light is on. Now, in DC circuits that we find in trucks and cars, one of the key things we wanna be teaching over and over again is what we call voltage drop testing using our leads. Now, when we do voltage drop testing, we wanna test a component that's not working. So obviously, we see that the tail light is not working. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna turn on again our backlight on our meter, and we're gonna go ahead and measure the voltage drop across. And now what does voltage drop mean? Voltage drop just means is, hey, this is a component, let's just go across it and let's see what the voltage is. So as you can see here, we got less than 0 0.209 right there. Okay, now it's 0 0.208. In other words, less than 0.2. So in this case, it's 208 millivolts, okay? But don't worry, it's just 0 0.2, 20 cents worth of a dollar if you wanna look at it that way. In other words, 0.2 of a volt. Now, just for giggles, let's go ahead and see the marker light that's on. Let's see what the voltage drop is here, okay? And in this case, we have, whoa, full 13.6 volts. So who's hogging up all the voltage in the circuit? It's actually the marker light. So whenever you test components, you know, you wanna make sure it's getting adequate voltage. This is why we push a meter. You wanna have something that has a meter on it. You wanna measure that voltage and see what's going on. Now, here's the deal. When something is not working, let's say you're testing a module like an ECM or a ABS module, whatever it is, one of the key things you should be doing in really, when you're finally going into in-depth diagnostics is let's say, hey, how much power does it have? But what happens is that when you test a circuit, what you are literally doing is you're disconnecting it. How many of you guys have taken a connector off and then putting your leads on to the connector, right? Now the circuit is still on. I have now disconnected, so now there is no current flow. Now, let's not focus on current flow, let's just focus on voltage, but take a look at the voltage now. In this case, I got 13.9 volts. Huh? Yeah, it's got volts. So that's why we need to understand what voltage is. Voltage is pressure. I see there's pressure here, okay? There's pressure going to the bulb, but the thing is, once I connect it, keeping an eye on our meter, hopefully our backlight doesn't turn on, turn off, excuse me. And in this case, what happens to voltage? Now that there is amperage flowing through the circuit, 
we see that the voltage drops to 0.2. But so that means that when we do voltage testing or voltage drop testing, we always do it with the circuit on. As you can see here, the circuit is on, not off. Because what happens when you have an open circuit, when there is nothing flowing through here, okay? You'll notice I opened the circuit again, the connector's off per se. And in this case, what do we see there? We see that the voltage is still, once again, turning the backlight on. We see that the voltage is what? We see the voltage is 13.90. So the moral of the story here is that when you do circuit testing, you always want to do it with the circuit on, and that's called voltage drop testing to better refer it. So I don't want to say too many things and confuse you. So in this case, anytime you're testing a component, you always do it with the circuit on. And this means that we're checking voltage. Now, if we want to measure amperage, we'll do that in a separate video. But in this case, all we're just trying to show you is that voltage drop testing should be done when the circuit is on.